We've already got the first parts of Wheatley completed, that's blinkability and inner eye control. Now we need to move on to the more complex mechanics that allow twisting, tilting, and the six degrees of freedom that come from his Stuart platform. Also, I've heard the word that you guys want longer episodes, so after this Wheatley build is complete, my future builds will be all-in-one, self-contained episodes. Your feedback is always appreciated. All right, so in order to give Wheatley and the other cores of Aperture even more expression while maintaining mechanical plausibility, the clever designers of Portal 2 incorporated a real-world mechanism called a Stuart platform. They can be used for a variety of different things, but they're often used in motion simulators, and for good reason. This particular arrangement allows for translation along three axes. That's forward and back, up and down, left and right, as well as rotation about three axes as well. So that's uh, pitch, yaw, and roll. And while I would love to use actual mini servo linear actuators for his build, just like in the game, uh, they run about $70 a pop, which is pretty pricey. So I'm actually gonna stick to this RC servo based version, just like this uh, balancing platform right here. All right, let's get to actually making this thing. Computer, uh, do all the work for me. Activating replicator. Disclaimer. The CraftBot Flow IDEX XL is in fact not a Star Trek replicator. It was, however, provided to me for free by CraftBot. Go buy their stuff, link in the description below. Ah, I, did, I wish it did work that way, but uh, at the very least, I do have a CNC router so I can CNC route out some aluminum parts like this fancy uh, mounting base plate. This is not a feature in his original design. The original design is way too small, um, so I expanded it. Um, for more structural stability. And yes, Wheatley is visa mount compatible, so he will make for an excellent um, external monitor. Someone asked if uh, we could play Doom on Wheatley, and I think the answer is yes. Um, we could even play Portal 2 on Wheatley. I think that would be really fun. All right, so let's go ahead and start putting his frame together. Um, I've got a few more parts here that I made. I uh, asked Xena if I could borrow her chakrams, and she kindly obliged. She hasn't really done anything with them in 20 years. Um, so these will be the uh, main points about which his internal frame rotates. I'm gonna set down the camera here and uh, put that on. This is backwards. Great. I'm not paying attention. Is it a TIE fighter? Or is it an Aperture Science Personality Core chassis? You decide. I'm not gonna put the TIE fighter sound effects. <clears throat> Now we need to put this into this. This is the inner gimbal uh, mounting frame for the rear of his body and to those side bearings. Let's go down into there. Put the shaft in. Really hard to see. Oh, there we go. There we go. Brute force. It's always the solution. All right, so this inner mounting gimbal is where the rest of his assembly will go, and this allows him to tilt up and down. Now, as much as I would love to do a full 360 degree rotation along his inner frame, which would be mechanically possible. It would require a lot of changes to his design. I'll talk about that in probably a post-mortem on this build. Um, I think that might be fun. So the way this gimbals is via a stepper motor to this very large um, fixed outer gear. So this is a four to one reduction. These are fairly weak servos, um, but this gives it enough oomph to tilt it 
back and forth. I suppose I should show that actually happening instead of doing it with my hand. I'm cheating. And before this gets too messy, I will talk a little bit about the electronics just for today. And the servos are going to be driven by this right here, which is the Pololu Maestro uh, mini servo controller. I really like them. They've got a desktop interface and they've got uh, smooth acceleration. And it's really easy to do simple animations. This is what I used in GLaDOS and what I'm probably going to use in all future builds for controlling my servos. So here is that six servo setup. If I flip it around, whoop, we're back to Wheatley's eye. I've temporarily taken off the eyelid and outer ring because these are pretty hefty and I want to test that it works well with less weight. And if it doesn't, well, then it's definitely not going to work with more weight. So let me go ahead and mount this to its mounting plate. So this one inch tube acts as the central shaft about which he rotates. And this uh, is made out of HDPE high density polyethylene, which is uh, wear resistant and it's kind of a nice bearing surface because as you can see, the inner part of this is uh, aluminum, um, which means that uh, this should slide nicely on that and won't make nasty scraping noises. All right, so now we've got this mess. All right, let's, uh, let's plug her in. All right, so we've got Wheatley connected and now I can actually test out all of his servos. So let's go ahead and wake him up. There we go. And test out that lower eyelid too. Oh, it's catching on something. And that's fine for right now. We'll just leave that open. Test out that inner eye. Good, good. Also good. And now let's test out that main tilt action, which you guys haven't seen yet. Still a little jerky because obviously the weight distribution is such that it's a lot easier for things to fall down than it is for the motor to accelerate up. So, so we got that jerkiness. I think I'm gonna go with a stronger servo for that action, but it's good to know that's why this is a prototype. All right, so let's go ahead and test out the Stewart platform and see if we can get it to move the way we want it to. Whoop. <laughs> it's hard to see because we don't have the outer shell as a reference for the frame. So we're only getting, I don't know, maybe five or eight millimeters of travel in and out. And things are still quite a bit wobbly. It's just a lot of mass. A lot of inertia going on with Wheatley. But this gives me the information I need to continue his design.